we go. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this will be a uh, top five for Thomas. But before I get to that, uh, I just wanted to do a shout out to uh, VHS Cannibal. Uh, YouTube user that we all know, well, we should know from before. He used to go by a different name. Go check him out to see who it is. Uh, you'll remember if you if you don't already know that he's made a new new account. But I'll put his link at the bottom. It's VHS Cannibal. Check him out. Just a quick shout out to him. Because he kicks ass. I love that guy. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing the top five for uh, Thomas here. And this time, he's going top five horror movie houses. Awesome subject. There you go. See, now you're, now you're surprising me with these top fives. <laughs> uh, yeah, since he came back. Before, it was uh, top fives were getting so in, into each other that uh, they're almost, some of them seemed a little bit repetitive, but it, it was, they were different. But now it's like, okay, this is, this is a good stuff because I can, I, you're getting me to th think about these ones now, <laughs> big time. Uh, and I'm trying to use newer, stuff but I just couldn't do it because these are this horror movie house is just classic anyway number five from this bad boy this house and yes you did pick that one uh, how can that be denied that's one of the most famous houses in horror movie history of course the house with the red door that Freddy took over um, yeah that house is just unbelievable in Nightmare on Elm Street it's so it's so iconic it's almost as iconic as the, the movie itself because if if you ask anybody about Nightmare on Elm Street they're gonna say of course Freddy but then they'll say most likely the, they'll, they'll remember the house with the red door but that's number five number four is boom psycho that's the house probably one of the most this could be the most famous one but it's it's. It, I love this. The house in there. It's creepy as hell. Norman Bates and everything. Um. It's not my top one though. It's uh, it's in the top five though. It's uh, and I think you also picked this one too, uh, Thomas. And of course, yeah, Norman Bates, the dark house at the top there. The the black house. <laughs> With the Bates Motel at the bottom, there you go. And that's Hitchcock's classic. We got next. If I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? They're well, living no dead. Problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the go. head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't get yourself a club or a torch, beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Well, Chief McCullough, yeah, the classic farm, house. It it's, it was not a farm. It was on a well, farm, but it was a house, and we know when we find them, we it's out them. in the middle of nowhere. The creepiness of that house. Yeah, they're dead. They're um, all messed up. Yeah, very, very creepy. Uh, for Night of the Living Dead. Next one I don't have on DVD. Number two is the, the haunting, and this is. Actually, another one that's, it's its actually a mansion, but it's a mansion, which is basically a giant house. But here's the, yeah. And the haunting. Oh, yeah. That was, the house was, the, the movie. 
because the ghosts were inside of inside the house and and you don't get to actually see them you just hear all the no crazy ass noises and I love that movie I love it so much uh, black and white uh, from 1963 not the not the dumbass remake with uh, Catherine Tita Jones by the way the one from 1963 oh you probably yeah the picture I showed the picture of that one and my number one with house right in the title oh shit I just thought of that one from 1986 house Jesus Christ there there's a mentionable Evil Dead in the House in the House from 1986. Those are mentionables. There you go. I'll throw them in as mentionables. But it, it, Evil Dead was a cabin. I don't. I'm all mixed up. But anyway, House of 1,000 Corpses. You only get to see the house at nighttime. Uh, I think when they're coming in, you get to see it actually better at the start of the Devil's Rejects, which is crazy because it's in the daytime and they're raiding the house, the police. So you get to see it a lot better. And But uh, you see it at nighttime, the whole movie's in, basically inside the house until the ending. And yeah, that was the, the crazy house, as I like to call it. Um, there you go, there's my top five. And that was an awesome top five, Thomas, by the way. Rock you later.